to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm a bit worried at the moment. Edwin the garden gnome has gone missing. Ben's outside trying to find him now. Oh. Oh. Hello, everyone. Oh, small. I'm afraid I can't find Edwin. I've looked near the garden pond where he's normally fishing, but he isn't there. I've looked everywhere. Well, garden gnomes don't like the rain, Ben. Perhaps he's sheltering somewhere. You're right, Small. Oh, I must stop worrying. Hey, maybe we could play a game to keep our mind off things. And then when it stops raining, we'll have another look for him. We could play our fishing game. Great idea, Ben. Let's see what we've got. We've got a flipper, a crab, a watering can and a rubber ring. And my beautiful fishing rod. Hey, here we go. Oh, 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 of course, something small. <laughs> it's yellow. It's got a handle and a spout. What do you think Ben's caught? Do you know what it is? Uh, uh, oh, hey, it's a watering can. Oh, oh, pop it down. There we go. Oh, this is great fun. Your turn now, small. Oh, goody. I wonder what I'll catch. Oh, dear. I don't have a fishing rod. <laughs> that's OK, Small. You can try with my rod. I think that's a bit too big for me to use, Ben. Oh, I wish I had a fishing rod so I could play the fishing game too. Come on, Small. We've got a customer. Better see who it is. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> who is it, Small? Who's our customer? <laughs> You'll be really pleased when you find out who's in our cafe today, Ben. Come on, then. Give us a clue. OK, then. He's really small, like me. And he's wearing a red pointy hat. Hmm. A red pointy hat. And he's got a red nose and rosy red cheeks. <laughs> oh, I still can't guess. This is driving me crackers. OK, OK. He usually lives next to the pond in the garden. And he's carrying... A fishing rod. He's carrying a fishing rod? Do you know who it is? It's Edwin the Fishing Garden Gnome. He must have come here to shelter from the rain. What would Edwin like to eat? Oh, I know. How about worm sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> He's a gnome, not a fish, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I went to visit my friend Edwin, the garden gnome. But when I arrived beside his pond, he looked very, very sad. Oh dear, Edwin, I said. Whatever is the matter? Why are you so sad? I'm sad because I haven't caught a thing all day. And to make matters worse, I've lost my little red hat. It's raining, and now I've caught a cold. <laughs> I hate the rain. I must cheer him up, I thought. And that's exactly what I did. I borrowed Edwin's fishing rod and decided to catch something to try and cheer Edwin up. I cast the fishing line deep into the pond and waited and waited and waited. Suddenly, I felt something on the end of my line. I tugged and tugged and tugged. Whatever do you think I'd caught? I'll tell you. It was a little red pointy hat. Edwin's hat. Well, if that wouldn't cheer Edwin up, nothing would. 
I couldn't wait to get back and tell Edwin. Was he in for a surprise? I gave Edwin back his hat. Hooray! said Edwin. That's the best catch ever. Now I won't catch a cold every time it rains. And just as he put on his hat, out came the sun. And then he felt a tug on his fishing line. Do you know what he caught? An old boot. We laughed and laughed. I'd never seen Edwin quite so jolly. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Good catch, Small. Way! Thanks. Hey! Good catch, Ben. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Thanks. Come on, Ben. Thinking caps on. What can we cook for our garden gnome? Hmm, what indeed? Oh, we can... <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, yes. Here we go, Small. Fish finger crab. That's perfect for Edwin. He'll never catch a crab in the garden pond. It'll make a nice change. Hey, you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need a bun. OK. Over to the cupboard. Here we are. A bun. Yep, got that, Small. Raisins. Raisins in the cupboard as well. Yep. Tomato. Over to the fridge. Yep, got the tomato. Carrot. Carrot. Oh, yes, a nice juicy carrot. Yep. Radish. Okie dokie. Here we go. Lovely and red. Radish. And fish fingers. Woohee! In the freezer. Here we go. Fish fingers. Yeah! There we go, Small. Hmm. Fish fingers. Why not fish ears or fish toes? <laughs> fish don't have toes or ears, Ben. You're so right, Small. But fish don't have fingers either. You're right, Ben. Fish don't have fingers, do they? So what's our fish fingers? Well, why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Here we are. This is the right place. Fish fingers are made from fish. Do you remember where fish comes from? Fish live in the sea. And fishermen in their boats sail out to sea to catch the fish for us to eat. Now the fish have been packed tightly into boxes and put in the freezer to freeze. The fish have frozen into blocks. I wonder where they're off to. Oh, look! The blocks have been cut into smaller blocks. Wow, the fish fingers have been cut into lots of pieces. They're fingers! Fish fingers! There's hundreds of them. Oh, they've got sticky stuff on them. It's called batter. 
Look, the breadcrumbs are sticking to the batter. Look at all the fish fingers. Off they go. Whee! They've all been packed into boxes, ready to go to the shops. I love a tasty fish finger or two for my tea. See you later. Bye. Way! You'll never guess how fish fingers are made, Ben. Um, fish? They're made from fish, which are shaped into fingers, and then breadcrumbs are put on top. Ooh, that's clever and tasty. <laughs> You're making me hungry, Small. <laughs> but not as hungry as our garden gnome, Ben. You're right, Small. We'd better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fish finger crab? You do? There was a bun. One. Raisins. Two. Tomato. One. Sliced. A carrot. Small one. Sliced. Radish. One. Sliced. And fish fingers. Five. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK, the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the oven to 220 degrees Celsius, gas mark seven. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Put the fish fingers onto a baking tray. Right you are, small. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five fish fingers. Ready for the oven. So, oven gloves on. There we are. And over to the oven we go. Into the oven for 15 minutes. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. There we go. Now, this is the fun part. Take the bun and put two slices of tomato inside. One, two. Hey, what's that noise? Whoosh. Are you all right, Small? Perfectly, Ben. I'm just fishing. Ooh! <laughs> I've caught a fish. Whoops! <laughs> Never mind, Small. Right, let's get on with this recipe. We're going to take the slices of carrot to make the crab's back legs. So, I put one there, one there, there, and there. And then for the other side, we go there, and then there, and then there, and there. Great. Then we can use these smaller slices to make the crab's feet. On we go. And another one on the end. And then this side. Brilliant. It's looking more like a crab now. I'm a crab. Look at me. Hey, why don't you be crabs too? Move sideways and use your arms as pincers. Hee <laughs> hee. 
There we are. The fish fingers are done now. Cooked and cooled. So, I'm going to start to make the crab's front legs. I'll put a fish finger there and there. And I'll take another two and pop one there and the other one there. And I'll put the final one inside the bun. Haven't you forgotten something, Ben? Oh, yes, of course. The crab's pincers. OK. I'll take some tomato. Bit there. Bit there. Hey. And another bit there. And one there. Yes, the pincers. Hey, hey. Hmm. There's still something missing, though. What? Oh, yes. He wouldn't be a crab without eyes. So, take a slice of radish and put it there. And another one just there. And we've still got our two raisins. So, I'll put one on there. And the other one there. Hey, hey, all done. Now it looks like a crab. Yes, it does, Small. I hope he likes it. Here we go. One fish finger crab coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, it looks like Edwin the Gnome enjoyed his fish finger crab. And look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My fish finger crab was yummy! Ho oh, ho! I hear Big Cook is quite a fisherman. To say thank you, here's a little something to help Little Cook Small become a fisherman too. It's my fishing rod. Oh, ho. I hope it's the right size. Quick, Ben, let me see it. Oh, here you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. Hooray! Now I can fish too. Good luck, Small. What do you think he's going to catch? Let's see, shall we? Oh, brilliant. I've caught the crab. Hee <laughs> hee. See you soon. Ho oh, ho, see you soon. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. 